So I do this every week. If you're just joining us for the first time, I always talk about a couple songs to add um, to your wedding crates. Uh, if you don't have them there already, some are older, some are newer, you know, just whatever, whatever I run into. And I'm like, damn, I, uh, I'm, I'm going to play this again. You know, the, whatever's been hitting, whatever's been working well, I always share that information with you guys. So the first one is CeeLo Green, Forget You. Now, this song, you know this song. This song was on the radio every five seconds when this shit was on. Oh my God. Like when this shit came out, it was like 2014, 2013. Forgive me if I got the year wrong, but it's somewhere in there. It was on the radio nonstop and it got played out in two seconds. So it was one of those songs that like we played for a little bit, but then we got so tired of hearing it. We all stopped playing it. I think anyway, I haven't heard a DJ play this in forever. I haven't played it. I forgot about this song, right? Well, I got a request for it this weekend at that Sunday wedding. So I'm like, oh, yeah, forget you. You see, you're driving around town, right? And I don't have a perfect uh, routine with it yet. I'm trying to figure out how I want to mix into it. But I mixed into it in the first dance set, and it's one of those songs that everybody knew. The older people, the younger people, they were fucking singing, having a great-ass time. It's one of those beautiful, universal songs that can go in your universal crate that will work for any crowd, any age, any whoever at a wedding because they've all heard it. And it's, it's one of those things where it's been long enough, right? It used to be played out, so they know all the words, and they know the song really well, and it probably got annoying to them because it was on the radio so much, but it's been long enough that now you can play it and still get a crowd reaction, got a great reaction. Add that back to your wedding crate if you can, if you can you know, deal with the crowd, <laughs> deal with hearing the song again, that is. Um, next one is also goes in the universal category. Not something I play every... I like Forget You. This one is like... So um, this one is Pink... Um, uh, get the party started by Pink, right? Uh, coming out again and then this party. Little cheesy, right? A little, I don't know. It's on the edge. It was also requested this weekend. So, a song I kind of forgot about. It's off of her first album. So, it's old. And it, it, it's another universal song. It goes down with Forget You. It goes down there with Black Eyed Peas songs and stuff like that, right? Like, I got a feeling and let's get this party started or whatever. Everybody, that whole thing. Like, that. those are all universal songs. They're like newer, like last like 20 years, I guess, or whatever. It's not like, you know, oldies. But like, younger people will know it. Older people will know it. They'll all dance to it. Like, it's a universal, good universal song. If you have like a basic crowd this song will work. I uh, I forgot about it, and uh, and yeah, you know, I used to play "Raise Your Glass" every once in a while, but that just I was like, oh, it's so just I'm tired of that, just so cheesy kind of to me. So like, I just like stopped. And this is like a good replacement for that if you play "Raise Your Glass." You know what I mean? It's uh, it's got a good little bop, and uh, yeah, you know, add it to your crates. It worked this weekend. I'm not gonna play it every weekend, but. If I got the right crowd for it, if I just need something universal and I, you know, first or second dance set when you're trying to include everybody, you know, definitely drop it. St. John, the Im Amanbic. Imanbic. Amanbic. I, I'm going to say Emanbic. I think it's Emanbic remix. I have no idea who that is. I didn't do any research on that. But this is a TikTok beat. Uh, you've heard it before. There's no way you haven't heard it before. It's a uh, it's a 128 kind of like drop. Um, and yeah, it's 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 all over the internet so much that even the older people know this too. So like it, it, it worked great. Uh, I played it all week. I've been playing a little bit. I just decided to add it because I didn't tell you guys about it. Just in case for some reason you haven't added this to your crates. Definitely very, very, very important because um, it's super relevant right now. This is going to be a mainstay forever. No, nah, it's just something. I think this summer you're going to be able to get away with it afterwards. Delete it. But um, but yeah, definitely a banger. It's just basically a drop. I don't even know what they say. I don't even know what the lyrics say. <laughs> um, I'm different. Man, I told Santi... I played this uh, on our first wedding Friday night, right? And right afterwards, I told Santi, I was like, man, I should have been adding this shit. I should have added this song 10, eight years ago, whenever this came out, whatever, seven years ago, I should have added this song. Like, why haven't I been playing this at weddings? This is a song. This is a rap song. I'm different by two chains, right? Two chains, but I got me a few on. <laughs> Fucking, dude, this guy. This is a song that everybody, you know, my age or younger knows every word to, right? It's perfect. From 25 to 35, you're going to know almost every word to this song. It was a bop. It was a huge hit when it came out. 
and uh, it's in the 90s, right? So it's not super slow, but it's a newer hip hop song that, you know, you could start replacing the basic shit with, right? I want to start replacing the basic shit. I've been saying this, you know, I want to, I want to, I want to slow down with playing crazy in love and yeah. And I want to slow, slowly bring in some other hip hop songs that are universal, that'll work great, you know, and, and, and try and differentiate my sets. And this is a great, uh, great song, great place to start. Um, it's never, never failed for me. Not, not one single time, right? If I'm doing 2000s hip hop, you know, I'm, I'm in that kind of range. You know, you got a, you got a lot of 25 to 35 year olds. It has not once failed. Not once. So it is, uh, trust me, drop it, get an edit of it or whatever. Everybody knows that piano, the ding, ding, mm, mm, mm. you know what I'm talking about? Like everybody knows that shit, drop it. It will go off. You will see. And then the last and final song of this list was a risk was a was what was a risk i was playing get low by little john right and i have an acapella out i forget who made it but i have an acapella out and i basically the acapella out says you know back 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 it up uh back 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 it up hey you right that that sort of thing and then i mixed in this next song and it's a super recognizable, like, instrumental, like the beat. You'll know it right away as soon as you hear it. And I told Santi, I was like, this is a risk. We'll see if this shit fucking works. And it went off. And the parents were singing it. You're not going to, bl- I know you're not going to, bl- I did this on Sunday, right? So it was on Sunday. It was for the, uh, the Mallard Island crowd, like this crowd right here, right? So it was right, probably right after, right after this picture was taken, I did it, right? Um, but you're, you're not going to guess. You're, you're not going to believe me. But um, I'm telling you, even the parents were singing it. It was crazy. And that is The Real Slim Shady by Eminem. Bump, 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 bump. Like, like it's that recognizable beat. And I don't, I, I didn't even do like chorus first or nothing. I just went right into the, right into the verse, which is not like if you heard if you've heard the song obviously you've heard the song right the verse is crazy he's talking about just killing this person and the, it's a crazy verse and it's one of those things like definitely play dirty if you're allowed to play dirty versions at your wedding i would definitely play it dirty because like in the clean version doesn't sound great this weekend i played the clean version um so it's like missing a couple words but still the parents were singing it so i don't know maybe they're, maybe they're just cool parents okay but this song also came out in 1999 so if it's so let's just do math here people like if this came out in 1999 so that's 22 years ago so let's say that that let's say you have a bride that's 25 years old well this song came out three years after they were born right so their parents were relatively young when it came out like the average like age of a parent of a 25 year old, you know, couple, they were probably what in their late twenties, maybe early thirties on average when this song came out. And I don't know, I'm 32. If this song came out right now, I'd be bumping the, I mean, I'm also a DJ, so it's not, I'm not a good example, but like, regardless, it's not like this song, this is 1999. This shit came out when they were relatively young. And I think like this is something I like. I don't. I didn't. I don't think about enough. Like we got to think about like what are uh, the average paid age of parents now? The average age of parents have grown up in the nineties. Like that, or there were like they had their twenties and their their you know they they were they were young adults right going out to bars and shit in the mid nineties, late nineties. Right, that's like the average now. So because I caught I caught a parent. Uh, w- when was it? It was uh, I think it was last week. I caught a parent. I played like I want it that way or as long as you love me. One of those like Backstreet Boys songs. And I call I caught a parent like gray hair singing every word. And I'm like, that's weird. Wow. I guess he was just into that in like 98. But it's like, no, like he was he was probably 30 years old in 1998. You know what I mean? 1998. If you're 30, you're born in 68. You're 50 something years old. You're 53, 54 years old right now. Maybe it was a bop. You know, so this shit socked me. This shit shot socked me, socked me. It socked me and shocked me when I played this, right? Because it's like, it's just like I just it, it it's a raw song, right? He he talks about some crazy ass shit, and uh, and uh, the, the, but but like everyone knew the words and 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 bop to it, like old and young. So I don't know. Try it. I'm gonna try it again this weekend and see what happens. But um, try it. 